All right, back here with my 2006 F350 project. Got the 6.0 liter in it. Uh, just went and picked up this engine today. Um, if you watched my earlier videos, the engine that's in the truck now, um, just really, it got, got too hot, melted the standpipe in here, and uh, basically just ruined the entire engine and there's just nothing on there i'm going to be able to use now i went and got a um, they got me a used engine got a really good deal on this i was really happy with it and you know of course it comes with um, the injectors and the turbo and everything see the turbo everything was bad on my other truck just not going to be anything i can use and i'm just right now i've just been in the process of trying to clean it up a little bit before i go into my shop here and start taking stuff apart um, <clears throat> there's going to be you know several things that i have to do to it before i put it in the truck um, i've got another oil cooler the gaskets and i'll do the um, the uh, seals and stuff on the high pressure pump uh, i'm going to do the injector o-rings and all the seals and the injectors and the oil rail you know it's it's kind of a pain but there's a lot of seals in there and you just don't want to take a chance of getting this together and, and having trouble with that stuff another 20 you know 30,000 miles down the road so while we got it out we're gonna go ahead and do all this stuff so we don't have to mess with it <clears throat> so um, you know this engines pretty rusty I don't really like these so I'll probably take them off off the engine over there and of course some of these got bent anyways and if you've ever tried to remove one from the exhaust manifold you know that it's just impossible um, so I'm gonna be taking um, what I can that's good on the other truck that's better you know the oil pan on this one I don't like it's really rusty this is what happens when you get an engine that's been up north for a little bit this is how they look but I'm gonna clean this thing up and I'm gonna get a lot of that rust off of here and just take and paint it a little bit slow that rust down so like these mounts I'll take them off and, and swap them for the other ones <clears throat> um, so it's gonna take a little bit of clean up for sure and this side luckily um, wasn't too bad rusty it didn't appear they had an oil leak from this look like this here so it was running down and keeping everything from rusting pretty good but this engine was was a running engine um, 170 K on it you know, it said it come with the turbo and and everything that I need so we're just going to have to, like I said, get um, get all of our new, you know, gaskets and seals into place. And I'm going to be taking this intake and all this stuff off and, and getting there and, and cleaning everything up and getting the turbo off. And, uh, like I said, getting a lot of new seals on there. And I'll be putting some new exhaust manifolds on. And I'll be taking that oil pan off and uh, resealing that and repainting it and everything I'll be doing another uh, rear seal absolutely don't want to take a chance with anything like that when you've got an engine out you want to get you a new rear seal on there so I'll be doing that I'll get another uh, torque converter seal in my transmission and we'll get us a new uh, new front seal for the crank here and uh, you now hopefully I can get something done in a few days. Like I said, it's going to be, I uh, mainly want to, you know, take my time and clean it up and, and everything the best I can. I want to try to get some of this rust off of here and get a little bit of rust oleum on there or something. Some high temperature paint of some sort to kind of get a hold of that rust. I know that stuff doesn't usually stay on too good, but, um, you know, anything's better than nothing, I guess. 
slowing down that rust <clears throat> and make it look a little better so um, you know at this point like I said I'm just gonna gonna clean on it a little bit <clears throat> and I'm gonna start taking some components off of here said the turbo and the intake and everything and you know it really gives you a good view with this thing out of the truck and I mean this thing is a monster now um, I know it said a um, thousand pounds on the freight receipt but the guy he had a, uh, a scale on his forklift and it was a thousand six and I know the pallet that was on there wasn't 60 pounds so it, it was it was over a thousand pounds really surprising and I mean it was a little bit scary getting the thing out of the truck I had that boom up so high and, and I mean it was it was just a little maybe a little bit nervous I mean this thing's huge and uh, weighed more than I, I imagined I didn't really didn't know what they weighed but it was more than I thought it was going to so anyways um, said I'm going to try to get some more stuff done to this and I'll follow up okay now I thought while I had this out of here I'd give you a good view of this turbo because it's kind of difficult to show you these boat locations <clears throat> but the difficult one to get to so you know if you're facing the front of your truck and you got the front you come around to the back there is one that's like right back here and that's probably one of the most difficult ones to get to right there and you, you know you really can't see it and you have to almost like come over this way and position your ratchet to get it from this side and that one just goes straight down I know it's missing on this one but there's supposed to be a bolt right there there's three of them and then you come up here and there's one right there that goes through into that bracket you can see and then there's one also on this other side and um, it's actually missing there but there's one right there I just thought that might give you a better view about where these are located but I'm just getting ready just to take this turbo off here okay here's another look at it with a lot of stuff removed and I'm just getting ready to clean this valley out here real good and I'm just working on covering up a lot of stuff here to keep the debris out <clears throat> like I said I'm gonna be um, putting new seals gaskets and new oil cooler in here seals and gaskets so I'm just right now so I'm just getting this cleaned up a little bit before it goes in the garage just wanted to give you another view of it All right, so I'll follow up when I get a little bit more done and do a little bit more cleaning on here. Okay, so we've managed to get a little more done. <clears throat> and I've got the oil cooler and the pump cover and stuff off. And I've cleaned up the surfaces and everything. And I'm uh, going to be putting the gaskets and stuff back on. I just kind of got everything cleaned up and sitting aside for now. And... So we got everything in the garage and on top you know i got a really good deal on this engine but i hadn't even realized it until now but they actually had already put the the arp head studs on here and you can see it right there so it, it was one of those things that i was really debating on on doing and uh was wanting to even think about you know going with some aftermarket head studs just because any any head stud um, or studs gonna be better than a bolt regardless <clears throat> so I was really debating on that so I mean I was just really happy to uh, discover that they'd already had done some work on this thing so uh, I mean, I could tell they'd done some stuff to the EGR and everything, too, but uh, I didn't know. I didn't even notice this till now till I got it in here, and I was looking at it and, and seeing that they had the head studs. And really, uh, 
if you can i mean it's just your if you've got the got the engine out you really do need to go ahead and get some head studs on there i mean you're going to be better off in the long run you know it's really i don't know that you can do them with them uh, in the truck or not if you got room but <clears throat> i mean it's well worth it with these these engines they have so much uh, compression and just the torque to yield just it wasn't working out too well and uh, you know some of them will last for a long time you know without giving any trouble but you know uh, you go to putting it under load and it's a good possibility you know the the head gasket can go and then once the head gasket goes it just starts you know tearing everything else up and eating the heads up and just making it where you can't do nothing with it so it's a really good investment in my opinion um, I guess the next thing I'm gonna get my uh, I'm gonna get the gaskets and stuff in and get my oil cooler and my high pressure pump back on and the cover on and stuff and uh, I'm gonna have to work on getting the engine out of my truck over there which I'm going to have to move my truck and I'm going to have to get that that engine out so I can work on getting this one in but I want to try to get a lot of other things done in the meantime like I said I'm going to be replacing a lot of the seals on here and I'm going to be swapping those exhaust manifolds over and anything that's just really bad rusty I'll swap over from my other one and uh, so anyways, I'll follow up, uh, hopefully get started back on this tomorrow.